Today, sugary drinks pose a great risk for liver cancer in women. Clothes that can convert your movements into electricity, so you can charge your devices on the go. And Microsoft is finally retiring Internet Explorer. This is MW Newscast with Michael, your host. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are. These are the details for today's stories. First story, women who drink sugary sodas at higher risk for liver cancer. Last week from 14th to 16th June, the American Society for Nutrition held its flagship annual meeting, exploring the latest development in nutrition science, clinical topics, and the most pressing policy issues. Our research by multiple institutions, including Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, was presented during the meeting. The findings suggest sugar sweetened beverages are potentially a modifiable risk factor for liver cancer. The study looked at data from 90,504 postmenopausal women, aged 50 to 79, over nearly 19 years of follow up. They wanted to see if there was a pattern between consuming sugary drinks like soda and fruit drinks and liver cancer risk. They found that women who consumed at least one sweetened drink per day were 73% more likely to develop liver cancer than women who had three or fewer sweet drinks a month. Women who drank one or more sweet beverages daily had a 78% higher risk according to the data. Time to replace sugary beverages with water and other non-sugar sweetened drinks. Next story, scientists develop a fabric that converts body movement into electricity. Scientists from Nanyang Technological University, NCO in Singapore, have developed a stretchable and waterproof fabric that turns body movement into electricity. This fabric could one day be integrated into clothes or wearable electronics to power devices on the go. A crucial component in the fabric is a polymer that when pressed or squeezed, converts mechanical stress into electrical energy. It is also made with stretchable spandex as a base layer and integrated with a rubber-like material to keep it strong, flexible and waterproof. Washing, folding and crumbling the fabric did not cause any performance degradation and it could maintain stable electrical output for up to 5 months, demonstrating its potential for use as a smart textile and a wearable power source. The team is now looking at how the same fabric could be adapted to harvest different forms of energy. Wonderful invention! Last story for today. Goodbye Internet Explorer. I am sure most of you learn to navigate internet through Explorer. Being Windows default browser means a large portion of people have used it and for a long time. Internet Explorer debuted on Windows desktop computers in 1995 and by 2004, has covered around 95% of the market. Currently, not many people use it since Google Chrome, Apple Safari, and Mozilla Firefox are the dominant browsers. After 27 years, Microsoft has finally beat Farewell to Web Browser Internet Explorer. As of June 15, Microsoft is no longer providing support, meaning no more productivity, reliability, or security updates, even though Internet Explorer will remain a working browser. It will no longer be protected from new emerging threats. Users wanting to stick with Microsoft are being directed to Microsoft Edge. Even if you're not using Explorer, just having it installed could present a threat to your device. No one wants to be the victim of a cyber attack via a dead browser. You may need to uninstall it. That's all for this Tuesday, 21st June 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. I am Michael. Please take care of yourself and each other. Have a good day.